Generic greetings once again back on Into the Breach. Today's beverage is a nice cup of tea. So, in the previous video of Into the Breach, we did a random mech loadout and set the game to hard. And despite that, we managed to get the RST Island secure. And it would have been a perfect island if it wasn't for the loss of the time capsule, which landed in a place that we couldn't save it anyway. So I'm not really uh, blaming myself for that one. But uh, we did quite well. We have a meteor mech, a rocket mech, and a pulse mech. Now, the meteor mech is piloted by, piloted by Archimedes. And I think I'll end up switching them into the uh, the pulse mech because we'll be able to move pulse and then run away but um, we'll see how it goes so we need to select another round we don't need to but um, I thought you know what we'll continue on on this one because it's uh, quite interesting and see how far we get so we've got archive ink we've got pinnacle robotics and we have detritus disposal now I'm looking at the main enemies that's a firefly leader that is a spider leader and that is a uh, floaty uh, Scion thing. Um, so I'm also looking at the enemies, and that one would be annoying because it does have, it does have a lot of flying, and it also has the um, the tunnelers, and they're really really difficult to deal with with our setup because of uh, that's a lot of pushing around like crowd control. That's got crowd control, and this is all about crowd control. So I don't think I'm going to go for that one. There's one over here as well, which is detritus, and that has a lot of a lot of um, spiders by the look of it. I think we're going to go for Archive. I think that would be best suited for us now. So we've got one here, which is High Threat Detected. Defend the satellite launches and perfect, uh, t protect the defense lab. And it's High Threat. I think we're going to go for it. So let's just start off um, there, there, and there. And the reason for that is because when we start adjacent to one another, we gain bonus movement. So let's just see what happens here. So they're going to go to there and hit into that. That's going to move forward and then hit into me. That one's going to go over there and hit forward. And that one's just going to move and then hit there. So this is good because we can get... We can get a good couple of hits here, because that one we can push into the water, that one we probably cannot, but um, we'll see how we get on. So the pulse mech, we could easily go there. Um, what's that symbol there? Oh, that's an extra movement, I think. Uh, and we could just pulse them like that. That'll push them to there, which will be out of the way. This one will be in the water, which is fantastic, and then we've still got other things to deal with, and we'll be blocking a spawn, which I am all up for. So let's do a... Oh, is there another option to do? Another option. That would do uh, all, all kinds of untold uh, damage to me. Um, probably not. I think the original idea was fairly sound. So there's one already dead, and that was the uh, leader as well. That was the elite one. I'm going to move over to, um, actually probably stay, well, I'll probably go there, and then, oh, I could do that, and that pushes them into there and blocks a spawn. It does cause a point of damage to me, but it also sets fire to the thing behind me. So you know what? I'm really not too bothered about that. And there we go. And then we can move again. Um, so we're going to move over to, um, we're going to probably move over to, um, where do I want to go to? Uh, maybe blocking a point of damage. That is... That is a possibility. I'll go there. And then we've got this one left, which I think we will focus on perhaps... Um, do we just kill that one? The problem by doing that is then this one will be able to fire, and then that would cause two damage across there, which is destroying that thing. And that's something we definitely do not want to do, and something we are trying to um, avoid at all costs. Um, I'm thinking, do I just hit that for a bit more damage? Perhaps not. Maybe go... Maybe go there. Um... That will set us on fire, though. Although, are we not immune to fire? Uh, hang on. Uh, meteor mech. I thought we could check that over. We can't. That's a shame. Okay. Uh, undo the move again. Let's just uh, see where we can go. Oh, there we go. Um, meteor mech. How do we check the mech out? Hmm. Anyway, um... Yeah, do we want to move? Do we want to move to block that shot? I think it is useful, yes. Okay. So we've got one more of these to go. We could just focus on that and get it killed. Kill it dead. Um... You know what? There's no reason not to. Just get it Just get it killed. So there's two at the back there. So we're going to get one shot from that at the back, which is going to 
uh, break the ice a little bit, it's going to put some um, other stuff around the place, so some um, some acid. Then they're going to get acid themselves, and then we've got a double move, and then you can see we now have uh, a couple more spawns. The problem is we're going to have four spawns this turn. Um, this one is firing into there, which is not great. We could actually kill that outright, I believe. Yes, we could. That could be an outright kill there. Um, this one we could then go maybe... Actually, probably stay where we are and just repair up. And then this one is a little bit more problematic, uh, simply because of the uh, of where it is. Um, although, what have we got? Attack order is zero fire damage, zero smoke damage, then one or two enemy actions, and the three NPC actions. So the rocket is launching after the enemy. So we ideally want to be killing the enemy. First, um, so I'll probably go ahead and um, move to there. The problem with doing that, though, is you can see that we are actually uh, getting like smoke at the back there, and that could cause us some issues down the line. Uh, what about killing that like so, like that? Uh, that's okay. I put a bit of smoke there. Um, ideally, I want to get. Hmm. Ideally, I want to get that push to there, but that means I can't do much with this one. Oh, and I can only push... No, I can push back there. Um, and what that does essentially makes the shock all the way back there and then puts some acid there so anything that goes around, because it might attack it, it'll be okay. I'm going to do nothing other than repair on this one. And then this one, we've got another move, so I will move a bit further forward, perhaps. And there we go. So it's going to fire. It's going to set some acid on there, and then it's, the rocket's going to launch and kill it, which is good. We're going to get one block spawn and two normals, and one of them will be on fire. Sorry, three normals. We've got a... Oh, I don't know what that is. Um, but I know they're trying to get me there. Uh, Blast Scion. Blast Scion is when anything else dies, it will suffer damage. That is... Oh, look at that. That's going to kill me pretty much outright. So we need to we need to get that dead as soon as possible. Um, what I'm going to do then... How much damage is that going to cause? Oh, three as well. So that's, that's quite bad. Um, that's already on fire. What are my options here? Um, I can't kill that. I can't... I'm going to have to kill that one. That's going to have to... That's going to have to die. Um, what I'm going to do is that then. Uh, and that will push it back, you see, into there. Uh, this one then is free for me to do pretty much whatever I want with, which I think would be... I mean, there's no point in attacking that. Although doing that... would well, no, no, that's just going to push things about, and we really don't want that. Um, perhaps there, and then that would push things around, and... Um, yeah, that's okay. Push them like that. That one explodes because of, um, well, it does. Uh, <laughs> just because it's uh, the, the Blast Scion. And then this one is left. I am, um, I'm sure I'm a Munifier. Uh, this one I'm going to bring up further forward to there. And then I'm going to uh, repair that mech, but still block the spawn because I think that's important. So that's going to take a fire damage. It's still on fire. That's going to hit nothing. We're going to get a blocked spawn and we're going to get two normals, which is going to be a bit of an issue. Um, that one's acid and on fire. And we've got all, all kinds of shots going out here. There we go. Um, so this blast scion is going to die at the end of this turn. Uh, the problem that we have is that oh look at that that's gonna that's gonna cause a lot of damage. Uh, the problem we have is that it's got one health that's gonna well potentially can kill two civilian buildings and the same thing back here. So we need to get that thing dead. Um, there is not really an option. Hmm. All right. That one's going to kill itself anyway, so I'm not really too bothered. I say kill itself, the fire will kill it. Uh, <laughs> clarify, just to clarify. Um, we've got all kinds of issues with stuff here. Um, where do I want to go with this? I could go there and pulse. That wouldn't really do much though, would it? And I think we need to save that pulse for maybe one of those. Pushing them to there might work. There's that that's a problem. That's... I can ignore that. That one there, though, we and I can move out the way of that, but that one there... 
If I leave it, it's going to do two damage. If I blow it up, it's well, if I destroy it, it's going to blow up because of the Blast Scion. So that means I have to take out the Blast Scion first. Um... Okay, the option is I could go there and do that. That would remove those... Oh, actually, there's a thing. I could go there. That would remove that one from the equation and cause damage. Then I've got just these two to deal with. Um, two damage, push it back into there. Attack nothing. Three there, and then this one can go... There. And then I'll get... Fire on that one. Excellent. Let's have that then. Let's do that. So... Bang, and then bang. And Archimedes can move again to there. And then fire. There we are, there's another kill. That'll be dead. Uh, we're going to say next turn, but this is the last turn, I believe. And <laughs> more acid. I mean, it was quite a nice place here. Uh, you know, missiles notwithstanding. Uh, missile base right outside your uh, back door. But, yeah, we managed to... Uh, do well there. So two satellite launchers and protect the defense lab which we now have got. I have a core available which is fine. I want to get uh, Backburn because I think Backburn's quite useful. So we have um, Research Center, we have Restoration Center which is Destroy the Dam. Now that wouldn't be very good for... Oh would that be good for us? Uh, no because we've got one that's just a straight couple of down. Well, that's that's all dealing with area effect and burning and pushing around. This one is it is two damage, but it's our only direct attack, and then that one's pushing about. Okay. Um, and what's this one? This is block Vex spawning three times and protect the clinic and the clinic's right in the middle. That's probably quite difficult, and there's air support as well. Um, take less than three grid damage. Protect the. Uh, the power generator which is back there and there's a hole there in the mountain I don't know if you can see it but I think that's where we'll get spawning I'm going to I'm going to try this one this is the um, the dam mission so we'll start there there and there and because we're starting next to each other we should get that extra bonus they do have a leaper they have a scarab and they have I don't know what the name is there's the leaper coming over to me that's a problem and that's going to go to there. Actually, that's not a problem. That leap is already dead. It just doesn't know it yet. And the reason that it's dead is because I'm going to fire straight into that dam, which is going to then plunge everybody into water. But um, to be fair, it's just going to go splash and die anyway. So uh, so there we go. So there we go. There's the dam breaking. And then that goes down. And you can see it would have died anyway because of the smoke. So we're in the water now which is not ideal. I'm going to go over to there and then push that into the water. And this one will go to there. And actually, no, we'll go we'll go to there and then hit that with fire because fire doesn't affect the buildings and that goes splash. And then we'll move further forward because um, it's better. And we'll st st go there because then it gives it another point of movement. So two spawns, Firefly and a Leaper, both being alphas. Uh, pretty much both of these are dead immediately. They just don't know it yet. So, once again, if we wanted to, we could get that in the water, and this one is going to be pretty much the exact same thing. We're going to pulse it to there, and then we'll get this one to um, go there, of all places. Ah, oh, no, 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 we can't, we can't, we can't. Uh, go there, and then basically push that back to there. That's now gone splash. And then this one, we can um, go to there, and then do that, which not only puts fire on the spawn there, we're going to block a spawn, and then that one goes to there. I'm going to then move this back over to there, and give that an extra point of movement next turn. Well, both of us are really, aren't we? So there's two spawns. We've got a blast scion, we've got uh, the centipede, and um, we've got a block over there. So the centipede is attacking me. I'm going to move forward to do a backburn and get that killed. Uh, this one... Oh! Oh yes, I forgot about the blast sign. <laughs> I forgot about the blast sign. I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself there. I'm going to... I'm going to go to there because this one is going to go to there. I will then repair myself and then this is just going to get hit and killed. And there we go. End the turn once again. And then we're going to get three spawns. One of them will be on fire. We've got a uh, firefly, non-alpha. We've got a scarab, non-alpha. It's on fire. And then we've got an alpha firefly. And there we are. So they're attacking all over the place. That one can be easily killed. Uh, that one can be easily killed. And yeah, all of these are very easy, 
very easy kills here. So there, there, and then let's do this. So actually, no, we'll go to, um, we'll go to there. Hmm. Hang on, let's think about this a bit better. That one's going to kill that one. That one's going to go there and push that into the water. That one's going to go there and then push. Um, oh, that's a problem. Can we do that? Uh, yes, we can. Okay, there we go. So that does that. That gets pushed into there. And then that one gets killed. And then there's loads more experience. Not going to even bother with the extra action because it's, uh, it's game over. We take a bit of fire damage. And there you are. Hmm, a lot easier than I thought, that one. Okay, so another two stars. Uh, we are experience-wise uh, very close. Our oh, 20 of 50, 22 of 50, 36 of 50. So there'll be a level up shortly. Um, that's one. Don't kill the volatile vec and protect the emergency batteries. Um, that one's probably quite difficult. And that one, hmm, um, I'm leaning towards this one. The problem with it is that everything's in the centre. But to be fair, we do have a lot of movement. So let's just do that. Um, and then confirm drop. So, we've got three VEC, we've got an oh, and a pod. We've got an Alpha Firefly, a standard Firefly, and very uncooperative <laughs> airstrikes. And, um, yeah, there's the problems. So, we have to kill that before anything else because it'll blow up. Um, and that's going to kill that outright. So, how can we do this? Well, we need to stop them firing. Um, pushing them is probably not a good idea at this particular stage. Although, two points of damage is alright. Um, and we won't be able to kill them, though. We won't be able to kill them regardless of what we do there. So, the other option is to put smoke and stop that one from firing, at least. That's probably the better idea. However... Is there another way of doing it? Um, there is a better way of doing it. It causes three points of damage. We can get that one killed then. And, ah, shame the sequence is out of order. That one's going to fire that way. It's only going to cause a point of damage though. Okay, so I think what we'll do is move that back and then push it to there. That means that we'll get um, a good bit of damage on it. So I'm going to uh, go there. Is that correct? No, it is not. Still where I am, actually, is perfectly fine. I need to get. I need. I need to push it along. So there is correct, isn't it? Yeah, because that's that's going to hit it there for two damage. And then I'm going to push it sideways, like so. That's going to then kill that and also set it on fire. And this one. What do I want to do with that one? Block a spawn? I could pulse. <laughs> I could pulse. Um, fairly pointless. Mm, I'll grab the pod. I'll grab the pod. And pulsing won't do anything, but we'll pulse anyway. Um, oh, do you want to move this one? Uh, no, I think we're fine. Keep them at the back there together. They're going to give each other movement. So, sadly, as I said, the sequence is slightly out of order. That's going to fire and hit the back. I was... I was thinking of um, more explosions. I was thinking of blocking that shot, but I thought if I get the if I get the pod first, then I, I don't have to worry about things getting pushed over that way. So that is a lot of unfortunate things right there. You can see there's all sorts of things in the this different place. But to be fair, we can start causing a bit of damage, um, and it's all going to be based around oh, that thing is a problem. It's all going to be based around, really, the um, the pushbacks and such. Um, okay, I don't think it's too much of a problem. I'm going to go there, and I'm going to pulse. Okay, that's going to take everything on one health. That one is actually the fire one. I'm going to fire there, which is going to kill two of them. There you go, and they both die. And then we've got another movement point, which I'm going to move to there. And this one, I'm going to move to... Um, where do I want to go to? Uh, there is acceptable, and then I'm going to just shoot, just so it stops that moving. And obviously, uh, it's going to make some damage as well to the lightning. So there we go. And it's raining, so... <laughs> I think it would be even worse. Uh, we're going to take another grid. 
Not really too bothered though. Two more spawns, no alphas. Uh, good spawn on the um, the drop and perfect timing. Um, air support's going to help us out massively this turn, which is good. Um, in terms of our air support, let's just double check the order. Uh, fire damage first, then smoke, and then environment. So that one and that one are dead. They just don't know it yet, or maybe they do and they don't care. Uh, that one is going to hit me there. So I think I really just want to get this in the water, um, which is all, all kinds of possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, darn it. Um, didn't want that. Didn't want any of that. I need to get that shifted, this one could pulse it. Pulsing those out of the way would work. Yeah, and that'll block a spawn. Okay, we're going to pulse them to there. Then that one can go to there, and then we'll do that, <laughs> which puts a smoke around that one. And then this can... Um... I think... Just go there, and then put fire there. Just to stop things going in front of it. I mean, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to stop, and then I'll move forward just to get us that extra movement there. So there's the fire damage, fire damage. then there's electrical damage, then there's the airstrike, and then uh, we've got two spawns. There we go. One of them's already on fire, that is an alpha scarab. And we've got the centipede, which is firing there as well. Sadly, again, air support being random, it's not going to help us out at all. But you can see the sort of uh, things that they are doing there. So in terms of damage, we can do pulsing. We can do um, then a hit there, and then it'll still be on fire. Um, as for that one, what can we do? It's going to cause one point of damage, so nothing I'm really terribly interested in. Um, okay, what I'll do is I'll put my fire one there and I'll do I'll do all the moves, there we go put that there and then fire that which will well that is going to push that aside which is a problem um, we still haven't blocked the Vex spawning three times, which is a shame should be paying more attention to that one uh, ok that'll do there then that'll do there and then we will do um, even more uh, no, I don't want to move there. I don't want to move further back. I think I'll move to there. That's fine. And then this one, we're just going to stand there and just cause more damage. There we go. Okay. As I said, sadly, uh, didn't get the block. I was more focused on the uh, the damage. We could have probably done it, um, but it's just the first one where they're attacking all that. I need to shift them around and such. So there we go. Not going to be a perfect island, but doing alright there. Failed that objective, but we did protect the clinic. So we will confirm that. We've opened the pod, and we have uh, micro artillery, which is artillery with potential to launch multiple small projectiles, and then a reactor core, which is good. Uh, so what can we put that on? Well, obviously, the, that one there is the obvious choice. Um, it fires one. Oh, that fires multiple. Ah, oh, look at that. Right, okay, that's fairly, fairly good. Um, it's very similar to that, so I'm not going to bother. I'm going to keep it on there. Um, actually, that pushes all the way around and that pushes back. So that's actually where it needs to be. In terms of the... In terms of the rest of this, what else do I want to do? I think we're going to install some of that and then get a shield self on there. So we've got Research Centre and we've got Old Earth Park, which is Don't Kill the Volatile Vector. I'm going to go with Research Centre because I've never done this map and I think that there, that, that whole there is where something will emerge. Anyway, so we'll go spawn, spawn, spawn. Um, and we'll see what will happen here. Now, they've got two range units and a blast scion, so um, they're well. They've already killed themselves there, so that's fine. That one's not fine. That one's even less. Okay, so that one, um, sadly, we can't kill the way I'd like to get it killed, but we can do some damage. Um, actually, you know what? I'm thinking just, just belt it one there and then get a double push. Push that to there. And then the fire mech can then push it even further. I don't think that's unreasonable. Let's go for that then. So that'll pulse and get it to there. This one will uh, just basically kill that one outright. And then the flame mech can go... Oh, where can it go? This might be a problem. I think I might have messed this up. Um, I thought we'd had a bit more movement than that, but we do not. Ah, oh, that's a problem. Uh, okay. Reset turn then. Okay. Let's try this again. Um, yeah, that's a problem. We need to get that over there. I 
That one's dead. We need to get that to there. The only way to do that is to probably pulse it one, which is to there. And then we need to shoot into that tile. The other option is, I was going to say there, but no, that's where it needs to end up. Damn it, I don't think it's where I don't think there's a way to push it there. I mean we could do that. That pushes it two damage to there, but then that means that, that one isn't gonna get killed, which is a problem. Um But I could set it on fire. I could set it on fire. Is there another way of doing it? Is there another way of doing it? I would have thought that uh, there was, but it looks like there is not, because yeah. There ain't. There ain't. Okay. That's a shame. Um, pushing it to there. Is there anything else I can do when it's there? No, it's because this is the only one with the damage. Oh, I'm not thinking straight. Of course, fire there. And then I can move again. <laughs> of course, I can move again, can't I? Right, my apologies. Um, what we'll have to do is go... It's going to screw me up again. I've messed it up again. Because I can now can't pulse because I'm going to end up pun punching my own mech into there. Just go there then, I guess. <laughs> it matters not. It says it's a tidal wave. Uh, it just turned to water, which means I'm going to be in the water. I don't really care. Okay, there we go. Not ideal. Far from ideal. But there's the water and there's two killed. So we've got three spawns. We've got an alpha leaper. We've got uh, a standard firefly and a standard centipede. So both of which have put themselves in terrible positions. Well, one of them's going to die anyway. That one has got three health on it, which I really do want to remove as soon as possible. Um, I think we're just going to have to do a bit of blocking here. We'll push that to there. And then push the other one in the water. Is that correct? I think it is. That one can take um, some more damage in a second. Just going to undo all the moves here. Um, I need to get that one. I need to get that one to there. And the best way forward, I think... Oh, damn it, I can't, I can't move the to there. I, but I will be able to in a moment. I will be able to in a moment. Um, see, that's going to be a bit dodgy. You might think that's a bit of a misplay, but yes, it removes the shield. Yes, it causes damage, but it does put fire on the spawn, so that's better for me uh, in the long term. And then I'm going to move this one to there, and then this one to there, and I will pulse that into the water. Um, and then this one, we can go to there, and then fire into that one, which is putting it on one health. So we're going to get a block spawn, and then one on fire. And there's another two kills, which is perfect. That's going to attack an empty tile for five damage. So we've got a standard Scarab spawn. We've got the Alpha Leaper once again, but that is dead, so it's going to be killed. Uh, that one's went to there, so none of this is really a big issue. Um, we just need to get that out of the way, and I don't know how to do it. Um, yeah, getting that into the water would be fantastic, but because we can't fire well in water, because it's well, waterlogged, it's going to cause us some issues. So perhaps. Um, no, I don't think there's any way we can get that in the water. So instead, we will go with sheer amount of damage. Um. Two points of damage on that. Actually, is there a way for us to get this? No. No, there's not. See, that would push it back to there, but then we can't get it any further. Even if we get a double move. Even, even with a double move, we're not getting that. Um, okay. I'm just going to... Gonna pulse that to there then, get out of the way. Go down there and I'll just set it on fire. Last turn anyway, doesn't matter. But there you go. Um, nothing came out of the hole in the ground there, which is an interesting one. <laughs> Fairly decent experience uh, distribution there. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it's blowing into that puddle. Oh, that's pretty good. 
Right, so I take less than three grid damage per uh, power generator. So, um, total of six power grid and 17 grid defense. And now the corporate HQ, which is destroy the firefly and protect the corporate tower. Let's go. And we're going to go for. Ooh, okay. Spawn, spawn, spawn. Um, they're going to hopefully, hopefully just go for the, the corporate tower. And that gives us some options. Water is miles out of the way, so that's not good. Um, we've got some interesting spawns and interesting jump around, actually. Okay, there we go. So we have this one, which is uh, firing left to left and right, which is going to destroy that one. That one's going to fire over there, but I don't particularly care. That one is pretty much... Uh, uh, we need to kill it. We just need to kill it. Um, okay, so I don't know how to go about this. Um, that's going to cause one damage, but it is going to set everything... I was going to say set everything on fire. That's not true. It's going to put acid everywhere. Um... So what about if we go to there and we pulse? That would that would get those out of the way and that spawning over there as well. That would give us some options. Um, other options would be to pulse there, which is getting rid of that. But I think I want to kill that anyway. So I'm going to pulse there, just so that's out of the way now. Um, this one I will go to there, which I will then be able to fire and be able to kill... Not kill that one, but I'll be able to um, put it with smoke. And then this one will go to there... And then we'll fire that way, which sets that on fire. And then obviously when we get to the fire, um, it'll be all right. And I'm going to move further forward just to gain extra movement on that one. That The combination of Archimedes with um, being able to move after shooting and the extra uh, more move when we start adjacent is just fantastic. So we've got a block spawn and now we have a blast scion turning back up. Um, so this is changing things because that one has to die this turn ideally um, we could do another pulse that would that would be reasonable to assume um, the problem is that one again now I want that one dead and the only thing that can kill it at this stage would be would be that because um, it's the only one that can do two damage but I can't stand there because that would put me on fire and I don't really want to do that. I can go there though and take that can take two damage. That can then pulse that into there and then that one needs to get set on fire. Um, it's only going to cause a point of damage but it's acid and as soon as, as soon as I'm covered in acid that's a, that's a bit of an issue. Um, okay. I think... Hmm. Change of plan. Mm, oh no, maybe not change of plan. I was going to say I'll push that one in there and it'll get killed by that firing, but um, not ideal, is it? Because <laughs> that's going to take four damage or kill it. I don't want to lose two more grid, ideally. Or I could just absolutely hammer it. <laughs> I could just absolutely hammer it dead. Um, why not? Just get it killed, shall I? Let's just get it killed. I'll do that. It causes two points of damage. The spawn will kill it. Okay, so that's that one dealt with. We don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, we want to get this one pushed once again into that smoke. And then this one, we will go to uh, there. And then we'll hit that on fire, which does a couple of things. It puts fire behind me. And also puts fire in front of that. Um, we're going to get a couple of spawns, which I am keen on blocking at this. Actually, no, I'm not going to block it. I am going to stay... Where I am, uh, like that. Okay, that's fine. So we're going to get a bit of fire damage on the blast ion. We're going to get some electrical damage on there. We'll get a firing at the back from the leader, and then it will die, which didn't actually blow up. Oh, there it did. <laughs> now it, blow up, it, blow, it blows up after the spawn, apparently. Okay. So we've got a leaper. We've got all kinds of stuff going on here. All kinds of stuff. All right, there we go. So um, second to last turn here, we've got... Um, a couple of issues. Um, so we've got that one getting killed this turn. That one is going to fire again. That one is on two health. That one is firing over there. So my uh, one point damage as well. My my instinct is to is to probably get that killed immediately with this. Um, that would be not unreasonable to think we can do that. The problem is, uh, how do we kill that one? Well, we can push it out of the way, couldn't we? Yes, we could. Um, and then that just leaves the one at the back there, which I can block with the shot there. Okay, so we're going to do that then. So we will get that one to there, which will then fire that way, which also puts flame on that tile. We've got flame on that tile as well. We'll then have that one. Oh, we'll actually have that one move over to... Uh, actually, we'll, yeah, we'll move the... Hmm, actually, no, where do we want to move to? 
Um, we'll move to there just to give that some extra movement next turn and we're going to bat that for two but it is going to push it first so don't worry about that explosion um, which is not normally something you hear um, and there's no point in false doing anything else so we'll end that there so we'll get fire damage on the back there which will blow up sadly but then that, that goes there I didn't count I didn't calculate that one correctly so just a slight real <laughs> mess around with the sequence but we're okay we're fine so it looks like they're actually focusing on the tower now, which is something they should have done a while ago. So that is focusing on me, I don't care. That is focusing on me, I do care. Um, and then one's going back there. So what I'm going to do is move this mech there and then pulse, which is going to push that one out of the way and cause a point of damage to that one, which is fine. The uh, one here will absolutely batter that one like so, which will push it further back. And then the fire mech will go to there and then push it even further out of the way. Um, actually, we'll just set it on fire. I was going to push it to there and because it would look really cool when, um, when you know, uh, that shoots it. But it doesn't matter. And also it means that would go there, which means I'd probably lose that one. And then end of the turn. So we've got a bit of fire damage. We've got a bit of fire damage. We've got one kill from fire damage there. A bit more there. Then we've got a firing. And then that would be the end of that. And boom, done. Okay, so they're going to disappear. Sadly, not perfect island. Just one off it. If I attempted a bit better to block the spawn, we, you know, we'd, we'd have well, we've got eight copper. F, we would have had nine and a perfect island. But um, it's still pretty good. So, what do we have? We've got a repair drop. Heal all player units uh, and disabled uh, mechs. That's pretty good. Uh, any class weapon heat converter. Freeze the tile in front, but light the tile behind on fire in the process. That is really cool. Um, we've got a a heavy rocket which does three damage wow okay um <laughs> and it pushes things back but it's a brute weapon we don't have that auto shield build again sh uh, building and shield after taking damage okay so i'm thinking that would be probably quite good for us um we're, we're definitely going to keep the kickoff boosters i'm going to i think we're going to buy that heat converter and put it on the pulse mech um actually is it an any class weapon? Any class weapon. It means getting rid of that micro artillery, but I really don't care about that. Uh, I'm going to put that in storage. Um, I'm going to sell the micro artillery. And uh, we're going to buy that. Uh, we're going to move. We'll swap those out and put that onto there. That's already active. That's good. Fire and forget with Archimedes on the Meteor Mech is actually good because we move it up to fire and then we move back, whereas the Pulse Mech already moves things out anyway, so it's better for us to th actually think on that one there. Uh, we need to power that up, so we will, um, well, basically we're going to go for a 1, 2 uh, grid, and we'll, uh, sorry, not grid, for cores, and then we'll power that up, so that's a nice little thing there. And what's our spread of... Reactor. Uh, spread is actually pretty good. Um, it's 2 3 3. And what I'm going to do is install one onto the. I think we're going to install one onto the rocket mech just to keep it about right. An extra plus one damage will be good. Plus two damage on that though is even better. And then shield friendly. That's an interesting one. Um, plus extra use. Extra use is, is pretty good though. Um, what shall we do? I think I'm going to put it on there and give them an extra point of movement. So the movement five at this point and six when we're adjacent. So we can get pretty much anywhere we want. Right, and we've got two more corporate reputation. We can get some other stuff, but is should we just get grid? Um, I think you can keep... Uh, yeah, I think you can keep the... I think we can keep that corporate rep for other ones, but I'm going to buy that just to get increased grid. Not that we need it, um, but yeah, there we go. So, we now have um, the archive, I believe, archive secured, which is RST and archive completed. We now have the option to go for final mission or progress on. And quite frankly, because I'm enjoying it so much, I think we're going to progress on to either Pinnacle or Detritus. So, <laughs> that's going to be next episode. Um, if you've got to this point, then understand that you are within probably... 0.1% of the subscriber base, no, probably a lot less, um, of, of the people that watch these videos, hmm, people who watch the videos is a, about a 1% of subscriber base, and you're probably in, you, you're probably the only one, oh, I feel special, <laughs> 
I know it's very few people watch the the these ones, the um, Into the Breach, but I enjoy it so much. And you know what? The people that do like it really like it, so that's all cool. Anyway, if you uh, have, then um, plus, uh, put, one, put, one, put one comment point, plus one generic comment point in the comments. <coughs> and um, <laughs> I know you've got to this uh, stage. Plus one dedication points. Uh, so next episode, as I said, we'll go on and we'll do Detritus or Pinnacle and we'll see how we go. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.